calculating sample size using one of the statistical software that is available freely online to download called G power and in this video clip I will show you how to determine the sample size for a study and when you intend to use linear regression whether simple linear regression or multiple linear regression for data analysis so this video will show you how to um, determine the number of cases to collect for your study prior to uh, carrying out the research or the study here i had downloaded the software and uh, to uh, determine and calculate the sample size uh, when we intend to use linear regression click here on test scroll down to correlation and regression and then scroll to the um, options of linear uh, multiple regression fixed model r square deviation from zero once you have selected this option as we can see here in statistical test the test of the family is the f test for f ratio and since we are going to uh, determine uh, the um, sample size before conducting the study we're going to choose here type of power analysis as priori the software will calculate the required sample size based on certain inputs by the user such as given the alpha value which is for p value the statistical power value and the effect size so for those who want to use the software you need to have at least a predetermined input parameter for the study the first parameter is the effect size the effect size for the study can be determined by three different ways the first one is uh, conventions that is uh, determined by the software itself and it gives you an option uh, of small medium and large with a value for the f square uh, whether it's 0.02 or 0.15 or 0.35 and we are going to stick with the uh, medium effect size a second option is to look at a literature and uh, um, select the effect size from a published uh, literature and use that if they are doing similar study to the one you intend to do uh, a third one is to use the determine uh, uh, facilities available by this software once you click on determine it gives you two options to go for whether to use from correlation coefficient or from predictor correlation the second input parameter is type 2 error alpha error probability and we're going to set that as 0.05 and for the statistical power we're going to set that as 0.8 statistical power is equal to 1 minus beta beta is type 2 error and it's usually set as 0.2 so the statistical power input here we're going to insert a value of 0.8 and we're going to start with determining the sample size for simple linear regression uh, with one predictor so if we type one then click on calculate the software will calculate the sample size required uh, based on this certain input parameters now if I want to uh, change the power or the effect size I could do that by clicking on 
uh, this space here and then uh, going for a high effect size for 0.35 and then click on calculate and as we can see the sample size is reduced to 25. If I re uh, retain that into 0.15 as an medium effect and then change the power to 95 um, to 95 and uh, calculate the size as we can see here the sample size is 89 participant this is for simple linear regression what if I want to determine the sample size for multiple linear regression the same thing is just only changing the predictor numbers so we're going to set uh, these values for uh, for effect size and uh, statistical power and I'm going here to to type in two predictor for multiple regression and if I click on calculate the software will determine the sample size I could do again and change the predictor up to five predictor and try to calculate the sample size required and as it is shown here 92 participant or participants are required so this is the way to calculate the sample size uh, based on certain input parameter for uh, a regression linear regression analysis whether it is simple or multiple using g power software